Production begins in London at the market close to where he lived. Sunday morning, 15th of September, at East Street Market in Walworth. The stalls were busy with shoppers as usual. Just 200 yards away from the end of the market, at the junction with Dawes Street, Barry was staying temporarily at the house of friends, the Leightons, while his mother was waiting for rehousing by the council. That day, Barry had lunch at the house with Denise Leighton and her children before going out to play with seven-year-old Jackie. Where are you going? I'm going to Alex Frank. All right, then. Ta-ra. Bye. Bye. Barry and Jackie went down East Street to Trafalgar House in Bronte Close to play with their friend Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's mother, Mrs Ford, kept an eye on them as they played outside the flats. Then Michelle and Barry went up to the flat, leaving Jackie playing downstairs. Barry decided to go home, and Jackie went with him to the corner of Bronte Close. All right, I'll see you later. I'm going home now. Bye. Barry walked on down Blackwood Street towards East Street. What happened next is a mystery. By four o'clock on East Street, the market was gone, and Barry, too, had completely vanished. For three months, nothing was heard of him. Then, in December, his body was found in a field 25 miles away. 16th of September, the day after Barry disappeared. On the road known as the Crooked Mile, just outside Waltham Abbey in Essex, a man had run out of petrol. He left his car at the entrance to Travers Piggery. Police have now been able to establish that the boy he was carrying was almost certainly Barry Lewis. He seemed sleepy and listless, but he was alive. The nearest garage, Abbey Petrol Station, was three miles down the road. What's the can take? About two pounds, sir. Right, my favourite now. Thank you. Run out of petrol? Yeah, up for a good mile. Can you give this man in the Charles lift back to his car at the Crooked Mile? I'm sorry, I'm going the other way, Chingford. There should be somebody who'll take you. It's OK. I'll get there. The man walked a few hundred yards up the Crooked Mile and stood hitchhiking at a junction opposite Lee Valley Nurseries. Seeing the boy and the petrol can, a local man on his way home stopped to help. Can I give you a lift? Yeah, please. Where's your car? It's in the entrance to a farm, just up the road on the right. Wouldn't it be better to put the child on the back seat? No. Nah. He'll be all right here. The child OK? He's a bit of poorly. He didn't sleep well last night. The driver noticed that the man seemed edgy and reluctant to talk. He drove him up the road past the pink house at Clapgate Lane. Here it is. Over there. The driver took them back to Travers Piggery. 
he remembers that the man's car was a red hatchback, similar to a Talbot Horizon. It was in a tatty condition. Yeah, it's okay. I'll be all right now. <laughs> 